guys so I thought I'd catch you guys up on my week um I know I told you that I was going to kind of like a celebrity event thing and oh my god I am still exhausted to this day so it's been a couple days since I filmed I thought oh my god I gotta get my camera out I gotta shoot some video and I look really pasty today that's sad and I'm wearing this black shirt okay just we're just gonna stop for a second I'm on my little train of thought I'm gonna ask you a question I got the shirt express, okay? Now, ice cream, I don't know what this shirt means, but I'm, I'm hoping maybe like somebody younger than me will be like, oh, it means this or that. Because like, I don't wanna wear it if it like means something dirty or suggestive, but I'm not sure. Like if this shirt said uh, like milkshake Sunday, I would be like, hmm, but like, ugh. It says ice cream Sunday, and I don't know what that means. I just think it's cute, and I and I try to only wear it on Sundays because it's like one of those things. You know, when you when you're little, you had those little like cute underwears that had like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on them. Okay, I didn't have a pair, but I've seen them before, and they're like so cute. But it just makes me think, you know, like if I wore this on a Wednesday, people would be like, she's got a Sunday shirt on on a Wednesday. Anyways, so I don't know what it means. And what was I talking about? Oh yeah. Okay, so. The event we went to was, um, let me get the brochure. I'm like, <laughs> all right. Um, we, well, my husband told me, he's like, oh, Tony Robbins is going to be in town. He was so excited because he loves Tony Robbins. He's just like inspired him and he's listened to all his, you know, DVDs, CDs and stuff. And well, they're probably tapes at the time because let's face it, Tony Robbins is getting up there. So anyways, um, he's heard he was coming in town and he's like, oh my God, I've always wanted to meet Tony Robbins. So, oh, and just for like people who don't know, Tony Robbins is like the number one motivational speaker and just like life inspirational person. And um, so yeah, and to me, like motivational speaking has always been kind of like, uh, okay, whatever. Um, I've seen it on TV before and everybody's like jumping up and down and screaming. It's like an evangelist event, okay, kind of thing. And I'm kind of like uh, skeptical about it. But anyways, I'll show you the uh, brochure of who's, who else I saw was going to be there. And I was all excited about it. So, um, of course, Tony Robbins is going to be there. And Robert, please, I don't know how to say his last name, but the guy from Shark Tank was there. And some other guys that I don't know, like, let's just, this guy who, you know, is totally cool, but I t can't say his name either, but um, he, I recognized. These other guys, uh, don't know, his name seemed familiar, but Shark Tank guy and Tony Robbins, I'm like, yeah! And it turned out this guy, I don't know, like, he's like a big time, uh, what do they have? He's like a social media guru, like it says. And I've seen him like on YouTube and stuff before. But anyways, he when he went up on stage, he was a hologram. He wasn't even actually there. But I would have to say if, if all of the speakers that I heard, um, his was just incredible, inspiring. And I think he spoke to kind of like a, a more a younger group because he's more like edgy and up to technology and stuff, whereas Tony and Robert are older guys. But anyways, Robert was amazing. He was the only person that made everybody in the audience cry with his story about his family and and his, you know, his wealth and stuff like that. But I mean, that's what these kind of motivational speaking things are about. They're about, you know, they're trying to impress upon you, you know, how you can be successful and stuff like that. But. Um, I wasn't really there for that purpose. I was just there because my husband wanted to go and I was like, ooh, cool celebrity event. <laughs> and, um, and you, we uh, paid extra to go and meet Tony Robbins at the end and get our photos taken with him. I will put that in right here. Yeah, I'll show you the picture. <laughs> so anyways, um, what I didn't know about this event going into it was that it was all day long. So when my husband said, oh yeah, we're gonna go meet Tony Robbins and we're gonna go like, you know, this Shark Tank guy's gonna be there. I was like thinking, oh cool, it'll be like a concert, you know, like you go for a couple hours or whatnot and then it's over, you go get a nice dinner and yeah. Well, little did I know, it was from 6.45 in the morning. 
Yeah. And Tony was supposed to come on at, I think, like four o'clock in the evening or five o'clock in the evening, and he was supposed to talk for like an hour. Well, he gave us a little, you know, extra special show, and it went on for like four or five hours. Maybe it was three, but it felt like five. And I'm just like, Tony, you're inspirational and all, but come on. I've got shit to do. <laughs> Anyways, everybody else was like really into it. And just like you see on TV, everybody's jumping up and down, screaming and high-fiving. I mean, they make you do the high-fiving. And you're doing all these exercises, like going around the room and like introducing yourself to people and saying hi and high-fiving. And they make you jump up and down and dance and scream and <sighs> I'm really like I'm not that kind of person in public I don't like jumping up and down and high-fiving strangers I mean even just shaking hands with strangers to me is kind of like it's gross you guys I mean think about all the public places and studies that have been done about how dirty people's hands are I don't want to high-five the 10 people who are around me in a room and let me just tell you, sweaty. Sweaty is the first thing that came to mind because yuck. Anyways, so this thing was hella long. Thankfully, we paid for the, um, I, I mean, there are, there are different ways you could, levels you can go to these shows. You can, um, you can go and just like sit in the back and, you know, take care of your own, uh, stuff during the day, like your own meals and things like that. But, um, my husband likes to, if there's an opportunity to meet the person or the, like we did the same thing when Impractical Jokers came to town. I'll show a picture of that. Um, so when we went to see Impractical Jokers, we paid for like the upgrade thing. You got like a, a backstage pass. You get to meet the guys and whatever. Of course, that one was only a couple hours long. So I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed getting to meet the guys. So I think we did that. We did that a couple years ago, that's why I'm so chunky in that picture. Uh, anyways, so this thing, um, there was an option to be, in, uh, like there are several options, but the option, my husband did the top one where they serve you this, this beautiful like buffet lunch and they send you um, Tony's books for, for attending the event. You get to go backstage and meet Tony afterwards and you get a photo opportunity with him. So. My husband's like, if this is the only time we get to meet Tony Robbins, we're going to do it right. So <laughs> anyways, oh my God, I shook Tony Robbins' hand and I told my husband later, I was like, did you shake Tony Robbins' hand? Was it like shaking a foot? I, I literally like, when I shook his hand, it was like shaking a foot, you guys. His hands are like, they're huge. You'll see, like when you look at the picture of us together, like, did you see his hand on my arm? It's like, it's like. So anyways, I think he has like some, he must have some kind of like giant syndrome or something because the guy is huge. And um, he was an excellent speaker. I'm not going to like go into, oh, you know, how to, whatever he was talking about because like I said, I'm not like somebody who's like super into like motivational speaking. I am always like looking into the, the back side of it, the psychology behind it, like what is he trying to, you know, like, do to my mind with this stuff? <laughs> I know, it's so weird. Um, but, uh, let's see. The, there was there was some things I didn't really like about the show. Like, they chose certain celebrities. Um, these are, like, the, the people you claim to see. And then they had these other people there who were just trying to, like, sell you, like, get-rich-quick schemes, which I thought was very tacky. And... I just, there was like, ton, there were probably, I don't know, I don't want to guess wrong, but there's probably like 7,000 people in the crowd. And so when these people came out there, like they had tables lined up for you to like sign up for these programs. And my husband, like, I don't know, he explained to me this kind of like scammy things behind each one of them. So I got a better understanding of how those things are not such good, you know, deals. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, Tony, Robert, and the hologram of Gary, how do you say his name? Vaynerchuk? Vaynerchuk? Anyways, he's awesome. I'm going to totally look up more of his videos on YouTube to watch because he was so inspirational and just an awesome speaker. So, anyways, I have a newfound respect for Tony Robbins and Robert, uh, Herjavec? God, 
I hate saying people's names. Isn't it so embarrassing, like, to when you say somebody's name wrong? I think it is. I mean, even though these people have clearly strange names that are hard to say. Like, my my name is, is hard to pronounce for people. Like, even my first name. Like, people are continuously wanting to call me, like, Sasha or Sa Sasha. I'm like, it's Sasha. How is that? How is that a hard one to say? I just, I don't know. Um, anyways, and my last name, Hartlib, I ha always have to, like, tell people it's a B on the end. Hartleb. B as in boy, because nobody ever wants to put B at the end of Hartlib. It just doesn't sound right. And I guess it's a pretty uncommon name, so. Anyways, where am I going with this? <sighs> so, like I said, the last few days I've been totally just drained. Because where do you go, like, to any event that goes from, like, 6.45 in the morning to 8 o'clock at night? And they gave you one meal in the middle of that. And I'm like, hello, I'm a snacker, people. I don't do stuff like this. Like the whole time I'm like standing around the room where we're all like jumping up and down and high-fiving people. I'm like, please just hand out the chips now. <laughs> there were no chips. There were no chips, people. And I waited in line for, I think it was, an hour to get a cup of coffee for my husband. Because I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll have some other snacks and this coffee thing. And it was in between... I think the thing hadn't even started yet. And they had a few like little coffee huts out in the, this was at the, was it the Portland Convention Center? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think it was. Yeah, whatever, I don't know. So um, they had these little coffee hut things and I waited an hour and I got up to the front and guess what all they had? They didn't even have like a hot cocoa or anything like that. They had tea, which I like tea, but I'm not gonna pay like $5 for tea because it's tea and I don't even like drinking it. They had water, which was the same price, but uh, you know, I had to have water. And they had coffee and they had Diet Coke and like Sprite. <laughs> like, ew, okay. So I got a coffee and a water and I got, oh, nothing else because everything else I had there were just, oh, and then they had like giant, you know, like fat filled muffins and cake pieces and all this other crazy stuff that you would only find at like Starbucks. It wasn't Starbucks, it was some Portland company, but so gross. I'm like, who eats like this, right? I mean, the the pieces of coffee cake they were selling were like this big. It's like, and what was I supposed to get? Like that, a Diet Coke? Who are they feeding? Oh, but then like when we were like three hours into this thing, I'm like, oh my god, I wish I had a piece of coffee cake and a Diet Coke. <laughs> Yeah, I know. So anyways, that was what we did a couple days. That was why I'm still exhausted. That's why I have bags under my eyes. And that's why I'm like so excited that I got to meet Tony Robbins. This big feet hands. So anyways, <laughs> I thought I'd share that with you in some of the pictures. And that was that. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Like if you remember to. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you friends later. Find me on Facebook and Instagram. And, oh my god, you guys, I forgot to tell you, I signed up for, like, every single social media thing under the sun, right? Like, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and what is that one I cannot figure out for the life of me? Snapchat. What, what is that? Like, I noticed there's also an app you can download that teaches you how to use Snapchat. So that's kind of disturbing in itself, but I, I haven't downloaded that part. I just try to, like, play with it. Sent my cousin a really weird, like, picture of myself with some kind of, like weird rapey mustache and some pedophile eyeglasses. Really weird. What, what is that app for? I don't know. I just thought I better do that because I wanted to use my name on all of them before anything, somebody else used Sasha Hartlib for it. Like, who the hell would do that? But, you know, in my own little paranoid, paranoid weird mind, I thought of this. So anyways, check them out. See you guys later. Bye.